With respect to Syria, um, while speaking to the United Nations Security Council, uh, the Syrian ambassador uh, reportedly quoted a statement um, that you said nearly 22 years ago. He said, quote, the UN, which was established to prevent the encouragement of war, has become itself a tool for war. How do you perceive the circumstances surrounding Syria right now and the, the U.S. and European actions and uh, campaign for some type of intervention? Well, Syria is um, under extreme international and to some degree domestic pressure and violence uh, for only one reason. <laughs> And it's the same reason it gave us uh, Iraq and uh, Afghanistan and Libya. Syria is a part of the effort to eliminate uh, every independent Arab government, independent of U.S. control. You think that's the goal? It's not humanitarian reasons? Oh, my God, no. I mean, it's, it's, it's geopolitical. I mean, look what we did to poor Egypt, uh, going back to uh, Farouk, actually. <laughs> misery for the people for four brutal regimes, mm -hmm. U.S. dominated. Over the decades, you have faced a lot of criticism and have even been labeled by some as a traitor after providing legal defense to controversial figures such as Slobodan Milosevic and Saddam Hussein. You have described both of their trials as unfair and flawed. Last year, the world saw form, former Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi uh, murdered before receiving any trial. Who is to blame for that crime? Well, in one sense, um, the American people are to blame because they let their government do it. The American people, though, I mean, is, 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 the, is the American government really acting on behalf of public opinion within the country? I mean, no, do you the think that you... the public doesn't have an opinion about things like that, really, you know? Right. I mean, you know, you see that the American people allowed their government to do it. Does the, does the U.S. government really consult with what the people want before taking foreign policy measures? I wouldn't call it consultation at all. I'd call it manipulation. The government tries to manipulate public opinion to uh, support its policy, whatever it is. And uh, in, in war, it's particularly in, or in looking toward military action, it's particularly important to condition the public for it, which is basically asleep of, on, on those matters. I mean, you don't have a minor percentage of the American public has any daily concern about what's going on in the world unless it's a vacation trip or something like that. Many have labeled Iran the new Iraq with respect to the U.S. media coverage of everything uh, the U.S. officials are saying about Iran right now, which is quite similar to what was said about Iraq preceding U.S. intervention. Well, the, the themes for assaulting a foreign country through history have almost always been similar, haven't they? <laughs> Either they're bad guys, they've done bad things, or they're mean to their people, or whatever. There are only a handful of themes that you build up before you intervene in a foreign nation, or they've been offensive to us or they're preparing to assault, something like that. All of those countries have been victims of U.S. aggression because of U.S. geopolitical economic uh, interests. And our, our foreign policy is overwhelmingly driven by um, economic power in the United States. It has interests in areas where we intervene, basically for you could call it business, but it's exploitation. If these interventions can happen and former leaders do not face what you say, a fair trial, what, what's left of international law? If um, Saddam Hussein had been like Mubarak and done what the United States asked, told him to do, he would, his, he would have been a pleasant personality in the United States media. And we thought, hey, what nice people, what a great guy, you know, and all that. But because he wouldn't do what the United States wanted, uh, he had to be taken out. Is Bashar al-Assad destined for the same treatment? President Assad is um, a gentle person. There are a lot of people that would 
really disagree with the statement you just said that, that President Assad is in general. Sure, there are a lot of people that uh, want the public to disagree, but if you look at his history, he left home, he went to England, he studied how to take care of people's eyes, he's interested in medicine and healing. Well, right now, there's no healing really taking place yeah, well, in Syria. Right now, he's trying to save his country as he sees it. And that's, that's a rough business if you've got people shooting at you. Um, how do you think that's going to play out? Do you think that the Assad government will be able to withstand the mounting pressure? I mean, there were 137 member states of the UN that supported um, a General Assembly resolution, con you know, con condemning Assad and endorsing the Arab League plan that essentially calls for him to step down. The fact that 137 nations voted as they did doesn't mean that the people of those nations <laughs> Or even the government of those nations really feel that way. That's the influence of uh, economic power of the United States, uh, particularly with, to some degree, NATO, the, the total economic power. Most of them don't have, a, have knowledge or an interest anyway, but they're going to go along with Uncle. That, that's what that's about. Um, it's going to be tough, very tough. Um, I don't know whether he'll make it or not. You, you served as U.S. Uh, Attorney General under President Johnson, and um, having said that, I want to ask you about some domestic issues. When you read legislation such as uh, the National Defense Authorization Act, what impression do you get of democracy in America now? Well, you get, I, I get two impressions from reading it. One that um, that we live in a military-dominated society and that the people are unaware of it. That they're, they, they see uh, terrorism as a threat, you know, and 9-11 has created a level of fear that has been exploited and, uh, and sustained. And, uh, but uh, an informed people would never go along with that.